A corn is a small part of the skin that thickens when the skin experiences regular and excessive pressure. Corns are usually round and very painful and soft to touch when exposed to moisture. Calluses are larger than corns and are usually formed in the soles, since this part of the foot is under the pressure of body weight when you walk. There are many causes of corns and calluses. Walking and running in badly fitting shoes is one of the most common causes, as well as standing for a really long time wearing high heels or tight shoes. Walking without shoes, wearing shoes without socks, or manual labor that puts pressure on the feet. If you can't seem to get rid of your corns or calluses and they're cramping your style, we'll be covering the best home remedies to treat them in this video. Let's get straight into it. 1. Castor Oil Castor oil softens the corns and eventually they'll disappear. You'll see the result of using castor oil within a week. Apply the oil on the corn three times a day. Repeat the process every day until the corn completely disappears. Be sure not to apply castor oil if the skin is broken. 2. Pumice Stone Corn skin is dead skin, so it's best to try and remove the corn by rubbing the affected areas on your hand or foot with a pumice stone. Soak your hands or feet that have calluses or corns in warm water for about 5 to 7 minutes, then gently rub the areas with the pumice stone for about 2 to 3 minutes. Do this every day so that the affected areas heal faster. 3. Apple Cider Vinegar Apple cider vinegar softens corns and calluses as it exfoliates dead skin cells. It's also antibacterial in nature, and using it on your feet will kill any bacteria that are lurking around the affected areas. This makes apple cider vinegar one of the best natural remedies for corns. Soak your feet in a warm water bath for a few minutes, then apply apple cider vinegar on the corn using some cotton balls. For about five minutes, keep the cotton balls firmly pressed against the affected area until the vinegar dries. Next, apply tea tree oil to the corn without washing your feet. Do this every day until the corn comes off in about two to three days. 4. Garlic Garlic isn't just for cooking. It's also a home remedy for many conditions, including corn removal at home. This remedy is best used at night. Take a garlic clove and cut it in half, then rub one half of the clove on the corn for a minute. Place the other half of the garlic on the corn and cover it using a crepe bandage. The next morning, wash the area. Do this every night for just a few days, if you can bear the garlic stench. 5. Coconut Oil Coconut oil is an amazing skin moisturizer. It should be easy to remove your corn with a pumice stone once the skin turns soft and supple. Apply oil on the affected area, making sure you massage it properly on the skin. Reapply this three times a day until the corn is ready to be removed. 6. Turmeric Turmeric has healing and antimicrobial properties. When it's mixed with the soothing properties of honey, it works to heal your corn. Mix together 1 tablespoon of turmeric powder and 1.5 tablespoons of honey to create a thick paste. Apply the mix to your corn and let it air dry. Then rinse clean with warm water. Do this twice a day. The corn or callus should reduce in size within 2-3 to three days. 7. Lemon Lemon's acidic quality makes it an amazing home remedy for getting rid of corns. It helps to alleviate discomfort and you should notice the corn reducing in a few days. Just apply some lemon on the corn and secure the slice with a bandage. Leave the bandage on overnight. Continue using this remedy until you see no trace of the corn. 8. Onion It's another smelly remedy, but onion contains a number of antioxidants that will enhance the healing process of the corns and calluses. It's also good at reducing scars on the skin. Chop an onion and place a single slice of onion on the affected area. Secure it with the help of gauze. Then leave it on overnight and discard it the next morning. When you do this every day, you should notice changes within a week. 9. Oatmeal Soak Oatmeal is effective at soothing the skin because of its excellent exfoliating properties. Simply boil the oatmeal in plain water for about 5 minutes, like you're making breakfast. Then strain the water and apply the cooled oatmeal on the corn. Leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing the oatmeal off. Repeat the process twice a day, 
always make sure that the oatmeal is cooled before application or you might end up scalding your skin. 10. Vitamin E Oil For overall health of your skin and hair, vitamin E oil is recommended. It's also known as an effective home remedy for corns and calluses. Applying this oil on the affected area can help in softening the hard skin by moisturizing it. Antioxidants in the oil help in healing the corn. Apply it on the corn and cover it with a clean sock before going to sleep. Repeat the process every day until the corn is cured. 11. Baking Soda Sodium bicarbonate, or baking soda, is one of the best natural solutions for a number of skin problems. This natural exfoliating agent scrubs off the dead layer of skin over the corn. Its antibacterial and antifungal properties prevent infections. Soak your feet in a solution of baking soda and warm water for 15 minutes, then rub the corn and callus with the pumice stone. 12. Flaxseed Oil You might use flaxseed oil in your salads and other dishes as a way of incorporating the healthy anti-inflammatory into your diet, but did you know that it can also help soften a stubborn callus or corn? Before going to bed, soak a small, clean cloth in some flaxseed oil and cover the callus or corn with it. Then cover that with a bandage overnight so that the oil doesn't soak through to your sheets. While you sleep, the oil will get to work and the callus or corn will be much easier to smooth with a pumice stone come morning. 13. Aloe Gel Another great overnight callus or corn treatment is aloe. This remedy works best with an aloe leaf, but you can also use 100% pure aloe gel. Cut a small piece from the plant, slice it open, and apply it flesh side down to the callus. Cover with a bandage and leave it until morning. Remove to reveal a soft, easy to file callus or corn. 14. Epsom salts. For calluses, toss a handful of Epsom salts into a basin of warm water then soak your feet for about 10 minutes. Once the dead skin is softened, use a callus file or pumice stone to rub off the top layers. Continue to grind the callus down a bit each day after a bath or shower. It might take a few weeks, but trying to remove the whole thing at once will make the callus worse if you grind too deep. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you'll enjoy our next video on how to use baking soda as a treatment for feet calluses, foot odor, and cracked heels. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.